Hey, hey, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? This I'm this day I decided I'm going to start doing some tarot readings. So, how about we start with Aries? Um, I am Aries rising, and I know that the last reading I did a Scorpio first. So, the Scorpio reading had an interesting twist, had a King of Fire in it. So I thought, huh, okay, cool. So I'm in Aries rising, which is a fire sign. So let's. See what the fiery side of us needs to hear. All right. And this, of course, the Aries, if you're an Aries sun, if you're an Aries moon, or Aries rising, this can pertain to you. Because sometimes we just need to see a full picture, your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. Because things will, it just kind of casts different glimpses on the same situation. And so what I'm doing is... I'm going to read the energies for the week of March 6th through the 11th. Okay? So here we go. Let's see what Aries needs to see or hear or be aware of. What's coming up this week as far as the energies? What is possible? What? Whoa, okay. Who jumped out? Number one, Ace of Pentacles. A good sign, right? And along with that came the Queen of Cups. So... Aries, it seems like there's an opportunity for you to make some money. Pentacles or something to that effect. Um, pentacles are earthy, about resources, about money, about abundance. And this, the ace, speaks to new beginnings. So maybe you're going to have a new project coming up, a new idea. And, and since the Queen of Cups jumped out with it, it might be a collaboration it might be you'll be working with or for a Queen of Cups, which is a water sign, obviously, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. So this is an interesting dynamic duo, starting some sort of venture with a water sign, or you'll be working for her, or she's going to be, that energy is going to be there, the watery, feminine, but if you're a dude, this could also be a man, but it's a water sign that's going to be associated with new opportunities for financial financial success, or at least a new a new uh, venue, a platform. And I'm looking. Look at this. Look at the cards. Look how green that is. And look, there's like a walkway. There's a path. Can you see that? There's a walkway and the path, and there's this beautiful circle, like an archway that opens up to a mountain. And that's quite beautiful, isn't it? So that might indicate that you may be having to take a walk somewhere or you're going to take a little path, a little journey, not like a major journey, but there's something leading you. So you're just keep walking. There's something going to lead you to this. And it just... Uh, yeah, it just looks really interesting. And it's spring, you know, so it's March. So you notice the, it looks like uh, spring flowers right there. I don't remember what you call them, but those are definitely, it looks like spring. The flowers are out and it's green. It's beautiful. And the, the Queen of Cups, she's there sitting on her water, watery throne. <laughs> A watery tart sitting on her throne. Anyway, that's my python if you don't know that. So let's see what goes on after that. Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. What is next? What does Aries need to know next? This one, oh wow, okay. Yum. <laughs> I just love this card. I love this energy. I love this energy personally. So sorry. But this energy is a fiery energy. And this is the Emperor, obviously. And he's an Aries. He's an Aries. He is fiery. But look at him. He's on his throne as well. So looky here. We have the king and queen of water and fire. This is really weird because it's very parallel to the Scorpio um, reading I just did. So anyway, so there's going to be an energy of this emperor. And so the emperor has fiery energy. But look at him. He's also... His energy is very much a uh, do what I say kind of. He's very, to me, to, my, to me, he feels very 
like he's a king. He's going to do what he does, and he tells everybody else what to do. Do you know what I mean? It's not like he's asking. He's used to giving commands. He's used to giving uh, directives because he is in the place of authority. Now, his authority, though, hopefully he's a king. Hopefully he will have a heart of compassion, a heart to serve people. Um, and it's probably true, hopefully, um, but it could come across, he could maybe come across as a little bit, you know, bossy because he's a king. He's an emperor, not even a king. He's an emperor. He's like a pharaoh. <laughs> and pharaoh, as we remember, uh, he could actually be very hard-hearted. So this might be uh, an opportunity to work. Maybe, um, I don't know. I, I'm not saying that you are this. Maybe you are the one that's hard-headed. Maybe you, you are the one that's kind of comes across very kind of just to the point, you know, kind of like using that energy of this is what I want. This is what I expect. Let's do it, you know. And that's okay to a certain extent, but you have to be able to temper that energy, especially if you are dealing and working with the queen of water, the queen of hearts. Now she can be very soft. She can be, she can be uh, fiery too. Don't let her, her watery appearance fool you. However, this might be a real calling for you to tone down your, uh, Tone down the emperor energy and be a little bit more gentle and aware of how your energy impacts others. Because not everyone rules in the same way. She's a queen. Look, she's on her own throne. So it's not like she doesn't know how to rule her own kingdom. She just may rule it differently from this guy. So this is where the two need to maybe learn to work together, especially if you're going to be making money together, if you're starting a venture together, you got to figure that out. Huh, that's interesting. So what else is going on here? <laughs> this is awesome. This is like, what's next? What's coming next? So we have the king and the queen, and there's this beautiful opportunity. What else is coming up? What wants to show up now? Come on, cards. What is the next card? Follow up this energy. For Aries. This is for Aries for this week. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Hmm. Nothing's jumping out yet. Just wait. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm not a very nice card. So, Aries, you need to be on the lookout for a thief in the camp. Something's not quite right. There might be another player that's trying to uh, come in and steal from you while you're busy doing something else. Be mindful that who else is around? What's going on? Be mindful of who has access to your to your data, to your bank accounts. Has who has access to your house? Who has access to your ideas, your money, your bank cards? Uh, look at him. He is just all about himself. Look at that smile he's got. He really thinks he's got getting away with something. Look at that. Can you see his smirk? Wow. Okay, so, but look, he hasn't gotten away. There's a whole group of people over here in the back. I'm hoping they see him. The Seven of Swords. So I don't know. This is about trickery. It's about thievery. Huh. Let's see what's going on. I feel like there's something else to that. I'm not sure. And look at the circus. I mean, just look at the card. There's all these circus tents. 
So it seems like there's a lot going on, and the guy thinks that he can sneak out because there's a circus going on. So you might be in the middle of chaos or trying to spin plates, and you're maybe not fully focused on everything because you're trying to keep everything else together. And this guy's sneaking in. But he's got still two swords that he did not take. So he didn't take all your swords, okay? So that's one good thing. He didn't take everything you have, he or she. So, oh, there you go. Wow, the queen of fire. So that's interesting. I'm not, the queen of fire, she's, she's on her throne. And on her throne, she has a cat. She has two leopard or lions on both sides, which makes me think of Egypt. I mean, you can see the sand. Uh, queen of Fire, and a kitty in the front, sunflowers. Her staff has three buds blossoming, and she's got a big sunflower. It doesn't feel to me, though, that the um, Queen of Fire is the thief. I don't, it doesn't feel true. But she's definitely here in the equation. And you, this actually might be you. If you're, if you're not the Emperor, you are the, the Queen of Fire, you're Aries. Even though this guy is an Aries, I feel like he is going to be part of, whatever venture you're working on with someone. I feel like this is you. There's something else. This, the energy of this reading is really heavy. There's something really not okay going on here. So there's a... I don't know. There's something really not okay going on here. Let's see. There's like a lot of trickery and manipulation and distraction. So let's see. Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and the Queen of Fire. And there's a thief in the camp. So maybe this might be a call to look at your company. If you're if you're an entrepreneur, look at who you've got working for you. Wow. Travel. This is taking a trip. This is um, movement. So whatever's going on here, there's something going on, and it's not okay. It's something is super dense. I can feel the energy of that. But this means move forward momentum. You're gonna move forward. I don't know, there's still something very unsettling about this energy. I'm not sure what it is. But in here, you'll notice a, a woman and a small child and a guy, and they have six swords. And they're moving from water that's got current. And that's not like crazy current, but they are moving towards glassy waters. So whatever's going on now... It's not like over the top crazy, whatever. So this feels like it's not an okay deal. There's something really seriously heavy going on, but there's a thief in the camp, and that's never any good. If you can't trust people, to, if you can't trust who you're working with or who you're around, it's time to get out. Whether you fire them, you expose them, and if, if you're not in a situation where you can fire them, then it's time for you to leave. Maybe that's what this is going to say. And like, look, this situation is not cool. You need to move on. You need to move on. Find something better. Find something that's safe, that's calm waters, tranquil waters. That's what you need to do. So, hmm. Yeah, that feels like that's the energy of this week. Something's going to happen. You're going to find something out. 
or just to be aware if you're going to have an opportunity to, to start something new with someone, just be cautious. Be cautious now because some of these players, there's somebody in here that is trying to steal something, whether it's physically stealing something or emotionally stealing something. There's trickery going on. There's something going on. And then there's movement involved as well. So whatever is going on, just be watchful. Be watchful and ask for wisdom. I'm sorry, my neighbors are killer loud. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so be watchful for what's going on this week, Aries. But there's somebody up to no good. So pay attention. All right. Let me know what happens. Peace to you.